What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for games of the premium edition variety? Hey, do you nerd? Welcome back, nerdlings. I am Tom. This is Lady Lacey. And this is Do You Nerd, where we nerd out about all kinds of stuff. Board games, comic books, toys, plushies, big time, uh, and video games. And events. Something that we really love about video games, especially, is when they are in a physical form. Yes, Nothing that. against digital games, but hey, having that tangible video game, there, there's something to be said about that. And that is why we are here today to talk about a game we just got from Premium Edition Games. What is Premium Edition Games? They are a gaming preservation group offering high quality physical editions to games that may otherwise vanish to the digital ether. This group of lifelong gamers are also hardcore collectors, no different than any of us. They're creating tangible outlets for the incredible products game developers have poured their passions into. So yeah, when you have people that already love video games, they already collect video games, these are exactly the kinds of people that you want to make a very cool collector's edition. Yeah, and they also have their own podcast and their own Discord. They're on social medias and they frequent numerous events and conventions and they're very, very fun and easygoing to talk to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think the first time we ran into them was actually at Siege 2021. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's like when you're talking to them, you honestly think that I'm just talking to someone here at the yeah. convention. It, this isn't someone that's making games or Definitely selling games. I feel like it was the first time we'd ever met. It felt like we'd known each other for a long time. Jen actually hooked us up with our very own copy of the Pigeon Games Dev Collection. And we actually did an unboxing video of that. And we will have a link in the description below of that unboxing because it's pretty dadgum cool. Plug, plug. <laughs> Yeah, but today we are talking about Demons Tier Plus. This is a roguelike dungeon RPG, and we are going to take a look at what's in this retro edition. First of all, I do like that this is a nice artistic slip sleeve right here, kind of masking that this is a little bit of a bigger box than normal Switch games. And just like the Pigeon yes, Games. this is one of my favorite things that they do about it. They give you an old school NES cover, like sleeve cover for the game itself. They made it Switch size. All right, it's go time. <laughs> now, something that's pretty cool about it, I don't know if this is why they did it, but this is why I think they did it. Now, they sent an extra cover, basically. It's the exact cover that comes on here, but I think they sent it to you because that inside is so cool you want to be able to have an art piece you can hang up. That's what there I There you think. go, kind of a nice mini poster. Because it's literally just the cover and then the inside. Inside, of course, you have the game. This is Lady Lacey's favorite part. Mine now. It's her game now. <laughs> oh, the challenges. Oh yeah, so we can get those patches. This is so cool. So yeah, you earn the patches by following one of the challenges on here. For instance, beat the third boss with the cleric. Mmm. It's time you to... You need to start earning me some patches. I you know. need to put the other game in and earn me some patches. One of the best things of all. It's the manual! Oh my gosh. And it's a so tiny. This is a cool manual too, because look at the silver embossed oh wow, that's instruction really booklet right there. Very glossy pages. So a nice full color manual. Looks like you've got a little bit of backstory here showing your control schemes, of course. The introduction to the characters. Nice, I like the wizard. I'm liking the wizard too, to be honest. Oh, there's the cleric for part of the challenge and the archer if you wanna stay back and do some damage. Oh, there's an assassin and a berserker. And then we have a little bit of information about your stats and upgrades, as well as the items. And then your weapons, and of course, your options. So it's breaking everything down it's very really nicely. really nicely done. Really, really cool. And look how cool this is. So level one, Crimson Cave, and I'm assuming these are the baddies you will find inside. There's some icky ones in there. 
And it shows off level two, level three, level four. Things are getting real icky looking now. <laughs> level five, the lonely abyss. And then on this opposite page, there's some fantastic sprite art right here. Yeah, that's really neat looking stuff. And then obviously you've got your lovely little notepad to take your notes with. Wow, this is really, really cool. Something that I absolutely love about premium edition games is the fact that they go all out yeah, with the production of their games. Oftentimes you can get sets that will have uh, special cards inside or in the case of the previous game that we got, that Steelbook that yeah, you that absolutely love. Yeah, Steelbook was amazing. But yeah, I love the fact that you get lots of different art. You've got, you know, this one with the art on it. You've got the art in the booklets. And then even on the back of your instructions, they didn't leave it blank on the back. I mean, you've got like a really nice little art card on the back too, so. As much fun as we had opening this, it would be a shame to not talk about the game. But the problem is we don't really review games, so I don't feel like we would do that justice, but I know someone that would. Mike, AKA Retro Gamer Boy. Mike is a AAA games developer himself with over 20 years experience. Plus he's got a lifelong passion of his own for gaming. Thanks Tom and Lacey, you know how much I love my retro and retro inspired titles. I can't wait to get in and review this game. Our story starts in the past with a king who falls to an evil corruption and becomes a demon and a plague upon the world. His tyrannical rule is brought to an end when the heroic knight comes along and sacrifices his life to seal him away. Fast forward 1200 years and we take control of a knight who is on a royal quest to investigate a pit that has opened up in the ground. As we arrive at the affected town we meet up with some fellow adventurers that we can recruit into our party. The gameplay structure of Demon's Tier Plus is really interesting. The moment to moment gameplay is a twin stick shooter, but the meta game, the game you play outside of shooting stuff in the face, is described as a roguelike game. Now a roguelike game is a randomly generated set of dungeons or rooms where if you die you lose everything and have to start again. A roguelite game allows you to keep something to make your second run through and subsequent runs easier. Now in Demons Tier Plus you kind of get to do both. When you enter the pit and the random dungeon, you instantly have a ton of monsters to deal with. They're everywhere. There's a mixture of cannon fodder, easy to kill enemies, and slightly tougher ranged enemies that may take a few more hits to dispatch. As you kill these enemies, they drop gold and jewels. You can also hit small treasure chests and objects for gold, and these precious things are what you use to buy upgrades for your health, attack, defense, speed, and other useful things. But here's the thing, if you die or leave the dungeon, you do not get to keep those upgrades. So the longer you'll run in the dungeon, the easier in theory it becomes. As you kill enemies in the dungeon, you also get decoins. Now decoins do come with you as you leave the dungeons, but are lost if you die. Decoins can be used to unlock new party members, powerful potions and relics, and new weapons. And thus, here is our rogue light element. When you're in the dungeon, you have a quest to complete before the trapdoor opens and you can proceed to the next level. These quests can be kill a certain enemy or unlock a big chest, kill all the enemies on the floor, blow up all explosive barrels, etc. As you work to achieve your quest to unlock the next floor, you'll come across gold and silver keys. The golden keys will open large chests that hold weapon plans and runes to help boost certain stats. The silver key unlocks cages where prisoners are held. If you free them, then they'll join you, giving you an additional firepower. You can also buy silver keys with decoins from the shop in the village, which you may want to do as you won't always find silver keys in the dungeon and you may want that extra help. You're not only up against enemies and traps within the dungeon, but also time. You have five minutes to clear and complete each floor. Stray beyond this time and the Grim Reaper will appear. You need to either escape to the next floor before he gets you or accept your fate and respawn in the village with everything you've collected gone. If you die, there's just one chance to return to the place where you died, marked with a gravestone. And then by destroying the gravestone, you'll get your decoins back. If you manage to make it to the next floor before the timer runs out, you'll get the chance to spend your gold on upgrading your character. While battling in the dungeon, you'll have a few things to help you out, including health potions, bought from the store, escape rope that allows you to return to the surface and spend your decoins, and each character has a rechargeable ability that they can trigger. Now as you get to the end of a dungeon, you'll face the dungeon boss, and these play out like an old school bullet hell shmup. 
You'll need to avoid the boss's projectiles and any smaller enemies whilst getting in the necessary hits to take down the fiend. There are three tiers to the pit, with each having five dungeons and each dungeon having several floors and a boss. Completing the first and second tier will also unlock two new adventurers. The moment-to-moment -moment twin stick shooting is effective and responsive and the speed and strength upgrades make a meaningful difference. The base attack between adventures is the same, but what makes them different is their abilities. I really enjoy the meta, and despite an overly long set of tutorial screens at the beginning, it's easy to grasp and master. There is enough in the rogue-like and rogue-lite gameplay to make you want to play more and complete all three tiers. Now, I really like the visual art style of this game. There was a time when pixel art was a necessity of the hardware it was running on, but has now become an acceptable art form in its own right. And this game and its pixel artwork is a joy to look at. Everything in the world is described with just a few pixels, and it's amazing to see how effective this can be. The world is also full of movement from NPCs and enemies wandering around to dust motes and birds crossing your path in the world. And I also found a Sega Genesis joypad in the village that instantly makes this game great. When in the dungeon there's a limited light source around you restricting your view, but you'll get a sense of what's up ahead of you with candles and gems lighting parts of the floor. Enemies are also well drawn, although you don't always get the chance to appreciate them as you blast your way through their bodies. The sound design is simple but effective, with each dungeon having an appropriate theme soundtrack. The world is also full of reactive sound effects, like the sound your weapon makes when you fire it and it hits enemies, or open a chest, or hit an exploding barrel. The music is calming for some dungeons, classically spooky for others, and with some, there's a real sense of urgency. Despite being a modern game, the soundtrack reminds me of something you may find on the Super Nintendo. Tom and Lacey, I've really enjoyed playing Demon's Tier Plus. I only wish it was on my favourite Sega Genesis and Mega Drive console, but it's awesome to have got the chance to review this game. It's a great little rogue-like and rogue light game. Love the meta game, and the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay with it being a twin-stick shooter is just genius. For me, I'm going to give this a gold Retro Gamer Boy coin. See, what did I tell you? That man knows his stuff. That's why we turned it over to him. Listen, go check out Mike's channel, Retro Gamer Boy. You will not be disappointed. Uh, he's got all kinds of gaming coverage, the ever hilarious antics of Live at the Arcade with our pal Sega Head. And if you want any more proof that Mike's the man, uh, you know those trophies you love collecting so much in PlayStation? Yeah, go tell Mike thanks for that. <laughs> all right, well, at this point, please leave some comments down below if you have checked out Demon's Tier Plus, because even if you're not going for the physical copy, there are digital versions available. In fact, there's a free demo out there. Oh so give it a shot. See what you think. Let us know in the comments down below and tell us if you've played through the whole game, if it really struck your fancy there. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Check out the links for Mike and for premium edition games. Find some cool new physical pieces to add to your collection. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Check us out on the Retro Refresh. And nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it. And we freaking love it for physical games. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I love this artwork. I, do too. I don't know which art I like best, though. You have this that's almost like this. Uh, more realistic y looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, this actually makes me think of some of the covers from the 80s and everything. It does have such a huge 80s mm -hmm. feel to it. And then you've got the more, like, kind of cartoony, comic book y looking. Oh, yeah. I, if this were a comic book, I would collect every single yeah. issue. Oh, yeah. And then, I mean, that staple anime design, mm -hmm. which the funny thing is, when you look at these different art styles, these characters fit every art they style do. so yeah, perfectly. They really do. I guess we should probably stop gushing and maybe go play it yeah, ourselves. Yeah, let's go play ourselves. Bye, Bye nerdlings. nerdlings. We got stuff to do. Papple, papple. Pop, 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 p
crunch, crunch. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Stop my arm. Hmm. Okay, ready? Yes, I'm watching the stuff fall over there. Mm. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. They're on social medias and they frequently numerous. No, they know frequently numerous <laughs> things. Boop -a -doop -a -doo 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 -doo. Hope I'm not cutting any of the cool stuff. Because that would suck. Ready? Mm hmm. Nice full clut. Full clover. <laughs> Glossy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, damn it. Damn it, I had it too.